name is Chandra. I'm a community librarian at Deschutes Public Library and welcome to our program. Today we're going to be making tangram puzzles. What is a tangram? Well a tangram is a geometric puzzle that's made up of seven flat pieces called tans that can be arranged to make various other shapes. The modern tangram that we're going to be making today originated in about the mid 1700s in China, but the roots of the tangram puzzle reach all the way back to about the year 900. Now, tangram puzzles come in the form of silhouette, oh, that one was upside down, <laughs> silhouettes or outlines. And the object of the game is to try and recreate these shapes with the tans, figuring out the orientation of each of them to find the solution. It is deceptively simple and yet infinitely complex. Are you ready to get started and make our tangrams? Here we go. Okay, so now we're ready to actually make our tangram. This is what the finished tans look like. So how do we make them? Well, the supplies that you will need are a piece of paper or cardstock, a ruler, a pen, a pencil, an eraser, pair of scissors and then something to color the different pieces. So how do we start? The very first thing that we want to do is draw an 8 by 8 inch square on our piece of paper. So using our pencil, let's make some marks of an eight inch. Let's do that a couple of places up the paper to mark where eight inches is. We're also going to do that in this direction as well. So eight, eight, and we want to make our outside eight inch square a little darker. So we're going to use pen. So let's mark off this eight inch line and this eight inch line. Now we have a square that is eight by eight. Now we need to draw a grid inside this square where the squares will be two inches by two inches. We want to do this in pencil and we want to make the lines very light because eventually we are going to erase them so that they don't show up on our tans. So to make your two inch grid, you're going to make marks at two inches, four inches, and six inches. Two, four, and six. Do that several times down the paper. Two, four, six. two, four, six, and then we're going to do them in the other direction. Moving this way, we've got two, four, six, two, four, six, let's do one last one, two, four, six. Now very lightly draw your grid. Connect these marks to make your two by two inch grid. It's one direction. Let's go the other direction. And two off. 
crossed lines. And there we go. Now you have a grid that is two by two inch square. Now we are ready to make our lines to make our tans. We want them to be a little darker, so we're going to use our pen. The very first line that we're going to make is going to go from this corner to this corner, diagonally straight across, to divide our grid into basically two large triangles. Our second line is going to go from here to here. here like that our third line will go from this corner of this square all the way down to the corner of our box so from here down to the corner of the box there we go. That's line number three. There's only two more lines. Line number four is going to go from here to here, diagonally across this grid right there. Good. That made a little square. Now our last line, line number five, is going to go from here to here. So there, down to this line here. And there you go. That's all your lines. Now, use your eraser and let's erase the grid. I want to erase those lines just so that they don't show up in your tans after you've colored them. Um, and it can be a little confusing when you're trying to cut to remember which lines you're supposed to cut along. I made that mistake the very first time. I did not erase them, and I cut along the wrong line. So I just want to erase them. And there are your seven tans. So now we use our scissors and we're going to cut them apart. Scrap piece of paper. Let's do this line first. Diagonally right across our box. Cut off this edge as well. That scrap. The rest of it are all part of the tangram puzzle. We have our two large triangles. We have our medium triangle. We have one of our small triangles. Square. And our last cut. There we go. Now we have all seven of our tangram pieces. Lastly, you do not have to color them, but if you want to, you can color your tangram pieces like so. And it can make it easier when you're doing your puzzle to figure out which pieces go where. And that's your tangram puzzle. Let's look at a couple of tangram puzzles. To reiterate, the rules are very simple. You have to use all of the pieces. They must lay flat. They must touch, but they cannot overlap. So this is what a typical tangram puzzle will look like. It's just the outline. Now, I wish I could say that, 
but no, we have to use all the pieces. So for this one, hmm, I think, let's see if I can construct this. I'm gonna use the big tangrams there, triangle here, this one here, like that, like that, and I'm gonna put the square one here. Now I've used all my pieces, they do not overlap, they touch, and they're laying flat, and it makes a triangle. And this is what your solution will look like. So this is the tangram problem, and then this is the solution. Let me show you one more. Here we have a fish. I think the tail is this one. I think we have one here. Let's put the square there. Put the other one on the front. And let's fill in. Oops. And I was right the first time. Fill in the other parts. And there's our fish, and there's the solution. Problem and solution.